What's going on guys? Don't come back again, hope you're fantastic today And welcome back to Day Shift of Freddy's If you remember last episode we did really really well uh, We rescued Phone Guy um, From the older location He's on our team now And I don't know what's going to happen next And our pizzeria is still okay um, So yeah, we're just going to continue with what we were doing We've got a little bit more money now I don't think I can get any more Areas here Hey Cool Cat Hey, memories. Okay, so Cool Cat's here, which is good. Let's go then, boys. Let's leave. Um, I did buy some more rooms, but they didn't spawn, which was really weird. But hopefully they've spawned in the... In this pizzeria in the real world. Hello again. I don't know if this is the last day or not. Is that time of the month again? Am I in heat again? No, you numb skull. It's time to go check on Phony and see if there's anything today that you need to know about. Or is it realistically any raging infernos that you need to help him with putting out? Let's go inside, shall we? Okay, boys, let's go. Let's see if there's anything interesting that's happened. What music would you like to play? Surprise me. That'll do. Hi, Phone Guy. Hello, hello, hello. So, it's great to see you again. I presume that you've had a pleasant month. Um, uh, there was nothing on TV. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I, you know, daytime TV is only for the likes of old people and Toy Freddy, right? AKA nobody who's actually contributing to society. Does decomposing count as contributing to society? <laughs> Only if you do it in a compost bin, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, sir. So, uh, I'm actually really glad to see you today, you know. Strange things are afoot. Of course they're afoot. We're in a Freddy's location, employee. It'd be more concerning if there weren't afoot, frankly. Like when all of the roaches die at once. Or scuttlers, in our case. Sir, with all due respect, this is beyond mere scuttlers. Uh-oh. I mean, business has been booming. This is the first Freddy's location to date that's actually made more cash than it's had to fork out from paying off health inspectors, crooked sheriffs, and... and the parents of frontal lobeless kids. Which is, you know, groovy and all. I don't get it. What's the big issue then? Well, you know... Freddy has always had a healthy hand helping of, you know, cryptic sightings. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, just wait for it. We at Freddy's are more than prepared to deal with the odd cryptic sighting. Scuttlers, ghosts, the occasional Bigfoot sighting. I mean, it's not like the customers can prove that we harbor cryptids. Have you ever tried to prove that there is a blurry seven foot tall primate running through a nearby fast food restaurant? Unless you're in Ro Roswell, New Mexico. Good luck with that. Why, I thought aliens were Roswell's thing. Bigfoot also had a holiday home in Roswell. <laughs> How did Bigfoot buy a house? With his company shares. Bigfoot is our majority shareholder. <laughs> Wait, really? You aren't uh, pooing me, are you? <laughs> Why do you think our sole investor keeps forcing us to buy phones large enough to conceal an ape man? Holy crap, Dave was right about Bigfoot. So wait, Bigfoot is real? And apparently in my restaurant. So what matters is that customers can't prove he exists. If he even does. But, you know, sometimes when things get a little too... Sir, we've had numerous sightings this week. And frankly, I can only handle them when we're spa they're spaced out. Three Bigfoot sightings in one day would be excessive. And frankly... What we're dealing with now is no Bigfoot. Okay, spill the beans, phony. Alright, so like... Can you picture a green rabbit, rabbit animatronic full of purple intestines? If you can't, I don't blame you. It's just, uh... It's Dave, guys. That's what we're dealing with here. Oh no, oh dearie no. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's been hanging around our restaurant for a while now. Customers ain't awfully enthusiastic about the sightings. Last sighting was yesterday. The rabbit allegedly tried to grab a kid. Oh god, that's problematic. You can say that again. That's problematic. Yes, yes it is. Look, I'll just say it like it is. We're hosting that health inspector's kids party at 6 p.m. this evening. And well, kids can be a handful. Siding cryptic, cryptic, big bad. Cryptics and watching kids both require a person's full attention. I don't have two eyes, sir. Just one phone dial, I'm afraid. Please stay back today and help me watch out for any more sightings of it. Wait, for the rabbit or the Bigfoot? The rabbit, obviously! Come on, sir. You'd be doing me a really big favor. And yourself, since you know, this is your restaurant and all. I well. Fine, I have nothing better to do today, I guess. Do I really need to be here for this? Do you really want your restaurant to stay open? Not really, actually. I just, uh. Well, I have nothing else to do. So, fine. I guess I'll help you hunt for cryptids later on then. Superb! That's. great! Okay, I'll... I'm gonna go in... I'm gonna go... I'm going to go to prep the birthday party. The birthday party is happening at 6 p.m. Evening affair. Uh, why do we have to stay late? I'm afraid so, sir. That's AIDS. Yeah. This life is a tiring one. All right, I'll go make sure that the place is ship shape and relatively cryptidless. See you on the flip side, sir. Okay, so Dave is around the location today, boys. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's leave the dining area and see if we can go into the kitchen and stuff now. Hopefully. So we've got some more rooms. Right? No, it didn't work. Okay. I guess I can't really do anything then. Uh, I did buy a kitchen and uh, a storage closet, but it glitched, guys, I think. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys. I've got a feeling Dave is going to turn up at this party. And we're going to have a fight. I don't know, though. I don't know whether this is the last day or not. I can't remember. We're going to see now. I'm scared. All right, another day. Another sigh of relief. That music man didn't lay eggs in the, our dining area. That I know of. Relax, I'm pretty sure his real nest is in the ball pit. Yeah. Lord, Music Man terrifies me. But, alas, we still have some work to do. Do you recall me telling you this morning that we have a birthday party slotted in for this evening? That should be starting, you know, right about now? Of course, why? Well, uh, the birthday boy is, uh, sort of, you know, missing. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a little annoying, all right? Now, my first instinct was to presume that the little bugger had just run off or something, but, well... Turns out, the kid doesn't know how to walk yet. It's the toddler! Oh, jeez, no! If we're quick, we can sweep the entire restaurant before anyone catches on that he's missing. I have the doors locked, so if he's still in the building, we can find him. Good idea, sounds like a plan. You take the bathroom, I'll take the safe room. Alright, sir. Good luck. Oh, God, okay, Dave's gonna be in here with a toddler. Jimmy can decide whether to join him yet, get one last chance to join him. <laughs> well, well, well! Well, who it is? Hi, Dave. So you found me. I did. Bravo. It was it, well, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> Dave, how did I know that I'd find you here? Well, else would you slaughter a toddler, <laughs> old boy? I don't know. That's what the room was built for, wasn't it? Uh, not in this location, Dave. Safe rooms are meant to be bleeding out rooms. Not murder rooms. Minimum 
which work in blood. Total is blood. Are you telling me that you can tell the difference? Can you taste the difference? Old sport. Dave, calm down, now please. Like you're the widow here. Sportsy. Not me. <laughs> Not poor old Davey. <laughs> Dave! I'm not the one abducting a kid right now. Oh, get down off your high horse, Sportsy. <laughs> you murder kids, Dave! What the hell's going on? None of this is about me. What's this? I'm not the bad guy here. I know what you did. Oh, oh guys, boy. look, we're in the game now. I've been snooping through your company records. Now, looking through your past business ventures. Don't know what you're talking about, Dave. Dave, there's no need to. You know, I had to wonder. When Fast End is right, the horror of attraction was set up. It seemed to scream sportsy. A perverted sentimentality, a fixation on a brand that nobody even cares about anymore. A twisted and horrific. It had you all over. Uh... I thought for sure that, if you were still around, I'd spot you there in no time. And yet, there was never in the whole sport inside. I don't think we did make it. What? Now that I've seen your records, uh... my god, it was so obvious. Of course you were inside. Working in there. You were the asshole standing outside, throwing gasoline over the building. There you go! Who gathered all of the pieces in one place. Yeah! Just to burn it all down, with me inside. Maybe! It's no wonder you didn't salvage me this time. <laughs> you think you can attempt to burn me alive? And then just kick me out on the kite when you fail to burn me in that fire. Along with the rest of the trash that this company has produced. Uh oh. I'm slippery, old sport. I got out of that fade and building. I didn't whine. And I came back. I always come back. Oh, God. Dave, this isn't personal. I wanted to help you. I wanted to save you too. But you're too dangerous. Look, you just abducted a kid moments ago. You can't let go. You're never going to get better. My only priority now is saving people from you. Sportsy, failing to sack me in flames when you had the chance was the biggest mistake that you've ever made. Whoops! This kid's gonna die because of your bad choices. No! Sportsy. You're gonna know what it feels like to die, like I did. It's gonna set me on fire. I need you to leave my restaurant, Dave. Oh, no. Sportsy. Stay any closer, and I'll cut this kid's throat. You know I'll do it. Dave, I don't respond well to threats. Get out of here while you still can. There is a whole party out there waiting for that kid. You're out of your element. Out of my element. I don't care if there's a million kids out there, or a billion cops. Uh oh. Joe's and poorly sportsy. No! This kid is gonna suffer great fucking circumstances because you. <gasps> yes! Uh, uh, hey, sir, uh, what? Uh, what the? Hey, you. Uh. Yes, you. <laughs> this is between me and your orange in a suit. <laughs> you get out. Uh. I think not, uh, Rabbit! Uh, uh, I'm not letting uh, any zombie uh, tell me what to do, other than my boss, of course. Stay any closer, and the kid will get it. Own face. Oh, Matt! Matt! Hi. Matt! What's going on in here? Oh, it's a parent, sorry, I thought it was Matt. I'm confused. Oh, parents are coming in! Wait, it was Matt! Matt the Parent Doggo Music Man! Oh my god, everybody's here! What? Another parent! Dave! Just back off! You're outnumbered! Sportsy, I. I have a message for you, Dave. It comes not only from me, but everyone.
every child you've hurt inside any Freddy's restaurant. You're outnumbered. We aren't afraid of you, and we aren't going to let you hurt anyone else. You're outnumbered, Dave, and we aren't going to tolerate you any longer. Now get the fuck out of my restaurant <sighs> before I tear you limb from limb. So, he's left! Damn! He actually left! Fair enough. Scary Origin Suit saves local toddler! Pretty decent speech, to be honest. <laughs> Green Rabbit spotted on site. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Hey, I like that ending, but again, guys, I feel sorry for Dave. Hopefully, something positive comes out of this. So I feel sorry for him. Just want him to be better, you know? What are we doing now? Oh, we're gonna go back home. Okay, guys, I've got a feeling, boys, this is gonna be the finale. Uh, I'll do it all in one episode, though, because you guys have supported me so much with the Day Shift at Freddy's episodes. I won't leave you on a cliffhanger. We'll just get it done, the good ending for this episode. Um, I really do appreciate the support, guys. Really, really do. You guys have loved this series. Hi, Dave! I sure have, Dave. Jack! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Sorry! Uh, Forest of Habit. It's good to see you all again. So, you guys figured out what we have to do next? We sure have. Sportsy. We spent quite a while talking it over. Or rather, Steven and I spent a while talking it over while Dave kept changing the topic to his kebab preferences. Hey, it's not my fault. I haven't had one of those in an eternity. <laughs> I have cravings. <laughs> I feel like I could write an entire novel about garlic sauce at this point. Well, we know where to go now. Okay. We'll lay it down on the deepest plane of the flip side. Well, I've got a feeling Henry's going to be there, guys. There isn't just one strong soul reaping. There's two. Okay. Wait. Did you just say two? Uh. Yeah, it's a real mystery, all right. According to the reading, we got a solar meter that Dave fashioned from a Geiger counter, some tinfoil, and an old sock. I love tinkering. <laughs> One of the souls has a strong red soul reading. We think it might be Peter. Really? Peter. That's my brother, right? Peter's on the flip side. Yeah, he probably is. You know... Uh, it's of great importance to me that we uh, free him. Uh, in life, I screwed him over out of cowardice and a lack of integrity. This is a chance for me to redeem myself. Uh, uh, My only chance. Uh, you know that we need to free him, Jack. Even if it is dangerous on the final layer. He's our brother. Our flesh and blood. Our flesh and food. Personally, I never liked the guy. Uh, what? I'd rather free him than do nothing here alone for the rest of eternity. Yeah. So, I'm up for some fuckery. Okay. Let's go. That's the spirit, Dave. I should warn you, though. Sportsy. I don't know what level 4 even looks like. Or all we know, it could be full of freaky clowns. <laughs> or cacti. Or cactus clowns. God. Clowns so pointy that they loudly pop their own balloon at a mouse accidentally. What could be more horrifying than that? Okay. Been stuck with a phone for a head? Be forced to possess a felt puppet with a ridiculous looking face? Nope. I'm gonna go with cactus clown. <laughs> huh. You're never going down there. You've never gone down there before. No, I. I've been too afraid to, admittedly. Why is that? Fear of the unknown, killer robots, cactus clowns? No, it's worse than that. Surely there's nothing worse than cactus clowns. Sometimes. Uh. Well, I've heard that if you get down far enough, well, it's possible to go too deep and end up stuck. End up stuck. Trapped on the bedrock layer. I don't know how deep this all goes. What about the second soul? What do we know about it? 
Basically uh, nothing. Its reading com is completely glitched. We can't pin down anything about it. It's got to be Henry, guys. Huh. I know who it might be. Rowena, this could be some sort of trap. It almost definitely is. But Peter is probably stuck there. We can't let him down. No man left behind. No man left behind. Uh, no man left behind. No man left behind. <laughs> no man left behind. Let's leave Dave behind. I'm on navigator. Good luck figuring out the way without me. Uh, Up its face. Uh, Wait, uh, how are we gonna get down there? I don't even see any sort of. Here we go, boys. This is a vile, wicked hive of scum and villainy. Let's go, old sport. It's Let's go. To the free some thrown ass. Come on then. Sorry. Some more thrown ass. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go, boys. Would you like to save? Yes. Definitely. We need to save at this point. Oh. So, this is it. I guess... Later 4. It looks familiar. It does! This is my house! Is this... Is this Peter's house? It certainly looks like it from the little I got to see of it from the photo we sent us in that letter. I wonder why layer 4 looks like Peter's house. Uh, 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 Getting loads of noises. Uh, this is quite strange, admittedly. Uh, uh, Spooky, even. I wonder why Peter didn't pass on. Either way, we have to find him. Uh, uh, yeah, I can hardly redeem uh, my crusty soul uh, if we can't find the guy now, can I? Way, sportsy. Oh, if you God. recognize this room, you might be able to lead us to him. Okay. So this is Peter's room, not mine, sorry. There's a shadow doggo. There's D, my sister, me, and I'm guessing that's Peter. So all is free on a picture frame. How do I, where, where do I go? Uh, I don't know if that's blood or just a rug. We go inside. Yep. Yeah. Oh, damn. This place is, what on earth? I'm weird it out. Something is off about this layer. Uh, this place uh, seems to be a mismatch of locations uh, uh, of uh, memories. Uh, Come on, we need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, guys, look on the tables and everything. Oh, what the frick? What the hell is going on here? It's just a. Okay. Okay, it's all glitched, boys. It's all completely glitched. Uh, what what has Steven got? Uh, a B boss drains, temp drains ten percent. Uh, what it drains? Why would you want to do that for? Drops a photorealistic phone on a random enemy. Let's try that. See what this does. Okay, thirty eight damage, sixty seven, fifty two. 54 damage. That's pretty good, man. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Let's keep going, though. Let's see what no uh, a normal move phone guy will do. If he does some good damage. These have got a lot of health, boys. There we go. There's one done. His normal attack does 54 damage anyway. So what would have been the problem with that? It does, it does the same amount of damage. Which is super weird. The music... Oh, 132 damage, boys. Okay, we won. Okay, I'm going to keep saving, guys. I don't want to, um... Oh, God, the laughter. That's definitely Henry's laughter, boys. Super weird. Oh, look. Henry, that's Henry, right? Is this a game to you? Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I can see a picture of a girl and Shadow Doggo. Let's go into this room. Oh, hold on. Let's check these rooms. This is my room. Uh, huh. Uh, I always uh, picture you living in like, I don't know, a dumpster? Not since the mid-80s, 1980s, nah. Hey, sportsy, what's seven inches long? Rock hard, full of semen, and smells like Faxi's left testicle. Dave, I swear to God. This out of under your bed. Uh, 
Dave, there's a child present. Steven, I haven't even been a child for, 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 I've been a child, I haven't been a child for about 40 decades now. That being said, Dave, if you ever say that again, I'll take you into purple beef jerky. Can't turn into what I already am. Uh, Six. I told you not to call me. Oh, God. This was Peter's room. Are you telling me that you had a second room in your house and never invited me over for a slumber party? <laughs> Dave, I only moved into this house after we finished working together. Still. Oh. Reality, you is a zombie rabbit eggplant man. He'd stay in the cushions and make the place reek. Still. Okay, guys, let's go into Dee's room. Oh, my God. Curious and curious, sir. Bullshit and bullshitty. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. This looks like Fredbear's, guys. This looks like Fredbear's family diner. Oh, God, this is really weird, man. Really, really weird. This is super weird. Some really weird posters as well. Oh, my God. I just hear the laughter in the background. Okay, let's go again, boys. Hopefully this helps us level up a little bit. I don't know I don't know how level up works, because it doesn't say when you win a battle, like, you've won. Uh, like, it says you've won, sorry, but it doesn't say you've leveled up. Uh, uh, Dave's just gone down, guys, so I'm going to revive him and see if that... See how much health he gets from reviving him. 600! That's actually really useful. Okay, let's finish him off, guys. Because some of the characters who I've got on my team are like level 4. I looked on the menu. Oh, damn it. Finish him! Good job. Okay, let me have a look. Yeah, so... Oh, everybody's level 4 except me. Which is super weird. I don't... Like I said, though, I don't know how um, leveling, leveling up works. Okay, this is... Where am I? Okay, I'm up here. Okay, I can see BB, Candy Cadet, Music Man. All changing. Okay, let's do this again, boys. Damn, they're attacking me first. What What the hell? There we go. That's working. I'm going to do that then. Oh, God. Doing a lot of damage on me. I think I should have done it now, though. After these attacks. Come on, D. Perfect. 148 damage, man. That's insane. Okay, I'm going to keep saving though, guys, because I don't want to die and then have to do it all again. Okay, what is going on, man? Back in another really weird corridor. Okay, it's dark now. I can't even see. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, look, here he is! Peter! Employee, I'm so sorry, I... Guys, what are you doing here? We're here to save you, you big dumbo! Oh, oh no! Only, what are you even doing down here? Well, after Henry... What the fuck? Is there a person here that Henry hasn't fucked over? Nope! Sorry! Yeah, uh, 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 it's kind of a uh, dick. Jeez, what a scoundrel. Peter, we're here to rescue you. We didn't forget about you. Uh, uh, no, you don't understand. You've gone too far down. You can't get back out. Uh, uh, this is exactly what uh, he wanted. Uh, what? Uh, Who wanted? Uh, I knew it. This was a trap. Uh, uh, Jack, uh, uh, I was the bait. And he lured you into his trap. So be it. Well, there's no point in hiding then. Show yourself, hound! Oh! What on earth? That's... No, it shouldn't be! So it's you! I knew you couldn't keep away! What? Oh my lord, what kind of accent is that? <laughs> what is going on? 
speak English, Mott. The language we speak in the United States of America. <laughs> Very well. God, this is weird. Uh, what? Uh, what is this thing exactly? Some kind of shadow doggo, clearly. That is what I am. But that isn't my name. Do none of you know? Surely one of you must know. Well, you're clearly some kind of astral mob. <laughs> but beyond that, you've lost me. I think I remember seeing you once, on the day Henry. Yes! I am the one that gathered the pieces. Who gathered you all here? I am the gatherer, the savior. I am the hound that dragged Henry Miller away. Say my name. Your name is Blackjack. You're my stray soul. So you do remember. Of course I remember. You know, for a while I didn't know what you were. I thought you were a ghost of my dog, Sparky, at first. You look so much like him. That you were haunting me out of anger. For not being able to save Dee on her birthday. But no. You just simply took his form. The last family member I saw before I died in that bear suit. The only one I got to say any sort of goodbye to. You're the soul that left my body and never returned. You're my stray soul. Like a stray dog. Hey, I get it now. I did return. I found you. I guided you. Guided me? You hounded me. Oh, I get it. Hounded. Get it. Because he's a dog. <laughs> well, you are all here now, so we can begin! With all due respect, Mr. Shadow Doggo, Blackjack! Blackjack, why did you use me to lure them here? What reason could poss you possibly have to find these f four specific souls? Oh, you are a part of this too, Peter! You five were carefully selected! And picked for a special purpose. Us five? What purpose do you need us to fulfill that no other five souls could do? Why us? What possible reason could you have to gather the five of us in this place? My guest has never had a visitor before. Your guest? Yes. The Void Walker. The Bear Man. Henry Miller! So, Henry's still kicking, eh? After all this time, he's still. Blackjack, with all due respect, I don't think there's a single person out of us five that hasn't had their life ruined by Henry in some massive way. I know that, Stephen. That's the whole idea. Wait, what? Henry needs to see you five, so we can see the consequences of his actions. The fruits of his ill decisions. What all of his work has amounted to. I wish to see if Henry is capable of remorse or guilt. And when I have determined for certain that he truly isn't, then we will leave him there. In eternal punishment! This, this isn't right. It's not our job to punish him, Blackjack. And why not? He has taken everything from me. He has killed my brother, my sister, myself. I am the soul, you know. You're just a hunk of reanimated flesh that thinks you're Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy died in the summer of 1973. You are an abomination! You all are, in one way or another. And I want Henry to see the monsters that he has created. 
Oh my lord! What on earth? This isn't right! You're not thinking clearly! You've just given the most evil man in the world! You've just ensured that he'll live forever! No hell! No real punishment! He's alive! And never has to worry about death! All of this was about death, Blackjack! Henry tried to abolish death! And you did it for him! By dragging him into the void between timelines! He'll never age or grow sick or even rot! You're, you think you're punishing him, but you're, you've rewarded him. We need justice. We need to annihilate Henry Miller. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, there's nothing guys left more. Uh, uh, Let's smash his dumb pink uh, face in. Guys, I don't know if. What? You wish to. No. He's my prisoner. I will decide what to do with him. I will decide the punishment that he must face. I will leave him where he is to spend the rest of his eternity in darkness. Outside of time where he doesn't exist. Blackjack. We must we have to destroy him. What if he ne what if he ever figured a way out? He's too dangerous to contain. Look at us. We're all broken because of him. We have to put ourselves back together. We must see justice. You don't get to decide what justice is. I've lost everything because of that man. No, that demon. You want him dead as much as we do. Please. No. Blackjack, please just... What are you doing? Blackjack. Stop! Remember! Oh crap! Fredbear's doing the bite! Okay, that looks like me, Henry, and Dave with the bite. Oh, Shadow Doggo! Oh, he's angry. What? Is that the dog? Oh snap! Oh! Oh, I get it! I get it! Blackjack killed Henry! Blackjack killed Henry! Ah, that's where Henry went. The dog killed him, guys. Attacked him. This demon is incapable of causing anything but misery! What uh, 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 Holy funk. How could I have been so... That magenta funk is the biggest threat to our reality. We need to destroy him. Yeah. It's the only way. Please. I know what you want this to end to. I know you want this to end too. You've been guarding him for 40 years. Aren't you tired? Yes. I am tired. Don't you want him to have to face the one thing he feared most? The unknown. Yes. The void is familiar to him now. 
I want him to feel unfamiliar to... You know what I said. I want him to feel object terror. You can take us to him. Henry might have been stronger than all of us on our own, granted. But Henry isn't stronger than all of us put together. We can do this thing. Do you really think we can? Are you really uh, sure we can? Sports is right. There is no greater force than righteous anger. Except maybe love. Yeah, well, you're a sad puppet. Those two are Jones and me and Sports does Ambies. Let's put the love thing aside uh. and focus on the whole righteous anger idea for now. Uh. He is correct, sister. Souls are strengthened by emotion. While we leave him there, he only gains more spite and thus more power. We must defeat him once and for all before he gains enough power to escape. Well then, what are we waiting for? I... I'm not ready yet. What? Sportsy, you heard the mud. Henry will only get more and more powerful. Uh, uh, I never thought I'd uh, say this sentence, but uh, Dave is correct. Uh, it's uh, now or never. I need to finish up something. On the other side, in reality. Tie up one last loose end. I won't take more than a month, I promise. Very well. You have one month. Then I will bring you back here. Thank you, Blackjack. Sincerely. Jack! Please be careful! If anything were to happen to you... Uh, 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 we need you here to help us beat Henry. Yeah, without you, we'd have 20% less meat sex kicking Henry in the ball. Uh, That's not exactly ideal. Don't worry. I'll be back. I promise. Uh... Well, all right, Jack. Stay safe, brother. And make sure to tie that loose end up tight. Yeah, no knots or tangles. Don't worry, guys. I know how to burn a knot, all right. Best of luck, sportsy. We'll see you on the flip side. Okay. Oh, so it's not over yet. I thought we were going to face Henry straight away. I will still keep it this episode, though. I promised. Okay, let's save on another file just in case. What are we going to do now then? God, that doggo voice has killed my throat, boys. Really killed it. <clears throat> okay, sir, I'm ready. Have you made the necessary precautions? You bet. All of the entrances are sealed with concrete silly putty, or a mix of the two. This place is sealed up good and tight. That will do just nicely. Thank you, employee. Uh, Harry! Uh, Call me uh, Harry! Let's cut the formalities. Okay, Harry. I'm glad to have worked with you. Even if you are a stiff phone-headed suit. Uh, Look, uh, sir. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, I'm a company uh, veteran. I've worked at more Freddy's locations than you could even imagine visiting. Uh, and this place? The most fun I've ever had! Insane, terrifying fun! Sure, we had to cut the books a little, break company protocol here and there, but what's life without a little fun, you know? Sir, it's been a pleasure. Likewise, Harry. You know how things will go from here. And I've accepted things the way they are. This is what we both want. I'll go seal the final exit and wait in the back for the showroom. Goodbye, Harry. Thank you for your service. Goodbye, sir. And thank you for your kindness. I'll see you on the flip side, sir. Shouldn't be long now. Oh! Oh, sport. It is I. Dave the Spring Trap Miller. <laughs> I came back. I always cool. You're late, Dave. You you know that I don't like to be kept waiting. Well, do you remember the last time we saw each other, Sportsy? And who said that I was outnumbered? Yes. Of course I do. Well, I was outnumbered. 
Oh, snap! It's like freaking 20! Swansea, I'd like you to meet my Arnie. Uh. Boy, I've had a busy month. Oh my god! Track him down every percent robot left. Every dirted soap bag at my disposal. Robots possessed by dead kids. Robots possessed by dead night gods. This is my Arnie. Now who's outnumbered? I locked the front door on the way to You're trapped. And now, you're gonna learn how it feels to be alone and outnumbered. My god, Dave. You're just predictable as I thought. Oh, and what do you mean by that? Dave. I knew exactly how to confront you a month ago. All of this? A carefully hatched scheme for you to bring them here. You've gathered them all in one place. Every survivor of Freddy's all in the same room. What are you talking about, old sport? Wait, is that fucking? Do I smell gasoline? I made mistakes when I set up Fazbender's Fright. Buying a fun house in a theme park? You had tons of ways to escape that flaming building. This building I designed from scratch. This building was designed to be a tomb. Your tomb. You're the one who's trapped. You and every lost soul here. You're all going to burn, can't you see? Clever. Very clever. Gathering us all here? What? There's just one error in your plan, old sport. There's no way out, or anyone. Exactly. If you strike a match, you're gonna burn with the rest of us. That's the plan. Oh, goodbye, Dave. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> you just find it all down. With yourself inside. All to catch me. To catch all of the remaining souls. They're all going to be free, Dave. For what it's worth. I'm glad it's all over now. Uh, uh, Not quite yet. Uh, uh, Don't we have something else that needs that we need to be doing? Uh, uh, I believe that we're gonna uh, face a grand uh, and a intoxicating evil. Uh, Okay, uh, nope. Don't like the sound of that. Don't be such a big baby, Steven. Five against one, we can do this. Six. Six against one. Well, this is it. Take us to the void, Blackjack. It's time to kick some magenta ass. Oh, snap. Prepare yourselves. You may or may not experience motion sickness. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn. What was that behind us? What the hell's that? Oh, is that just a background? It looks like an eye. We have arrived. So this is the void, eh? Cozy. Uh, uh, this place uh, is like my uh, old bachelor pad, but nicer. Well, where is he? He is near. Visitors, how quaint. Has Judgment Day finally come? Show yourself, demon. Yeah, stop hiding. You salmon colored funk. As you wish. Oh my god! So, my jailer returns with five visitors, no less. Thrilling. What do you need from Henry Miller? The Void Walker. We, we need you to lay down and stop moving, like forever. Yeah, we're on a quest to save every soul, but right or wrong. Oh, how amusing. If you think there's any hope of saving my poor, 
fragile little soul. You're mistaken. Oh, no. I'm just here to clobber you a fuck ton of times. <laughs> Over the head. <laughs> William. Oh, how bitter. You've finally found me, and you've decided to join the others in killing me. Fancy that. I sure am, Henry. My god, I just... You really pulled the wall over my fucking eyes. You know that? I don't know what you did to my head, but... I can't forgive you for what you've done. For what you've done to me, and everyone else. Good job, Dave! This has been a long time coming. What I've done? You helped me, William. Every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Or likely, I could've. With another human meat shield. Wow! Or, apologies, whatever you are. You look about as human as the rabbit suit that you used to wear. I never figured out exactly what you were, but a human, you are not. You're the one to talk about humanity! You murdered kids! Tortured adults! Divided families! Ruined lives! This is the end of your pathetic legacy, Emery! Oh. What do we have here? A gigantic, soulless, orange infant, two rotary phones, uh. a sock puppet, the purple Muppet baby that the world tried to forget, and the dog of Christmas past. Wow! Uh -oh. I'm Dr. Henry Miller, and I'm going to teach you all what you failed to learn the first time I slaughtered each and every one of you. Here we go, boys! You're going down, Miller! Your right end's here! Just try and stop me, you photo-negative canine. Uh, how on earth are we gonna hit him with all the spite surrounding him? We need to clear the spike before we attack him! It's the only way! Alright team, attack the spite! Okay, so... I'm gonna... Ooh... Drops a doggo on an enemy. Buffs Jack's things. That's awesome. Um... So that... On me. Dave, what can Dave do? Uh, one in three chance to instantly disable a spiteful ad opponent. You don't have the heart to use this on Henry. Can't I use that um, on a spite? Let's try then, spite D. Um, heals all party members, I'm going to do that. And then Steven drops a phone on anybody. Peter drops a phone on a random enemy. Boosts all party members' stats. I'm gonna do that. And then what can Blackjack do? Blinds an enemy with darkness. It's an enemy with pure darkness. Uh, I'm gonna use that on Henry. Let's blind some enemies first, though. Let's go. There we go. Nice. Everybody stat. My stats up. Sorry. What a waste. That was not- that was stupid of me. <laughs> okay, that healed everybody. Hey! Yes! Oh, drains. Okay, that's not good. Draining everybody's health, man. Attacking with physical blows. How crude and ineffective. I prefer to use honesty whenever possible. Steven. Your death was meaningless. An impulse. Part of a bet that William and I had. You died for nothing. Oh! Holy fuck. What the hell? Jesus Christ! Don't let your guard down, everybody! Keep battling the spite! What the frick? Spite C. Um. Try that on Spite C again. 
Um, D. Gonna heal everybody. Okay, Peter. Um, do that. Blackjack. Um, do that again. I like doing the blind thing. It works quite well. Heal everybody up a little bit. There you go. Ah, damn it. I tried, boys. Ah, oh, damn it. Miss. Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. God damn it. I'm never going to win, man. We're going to be here forever. We got rid of one, guys. Sorry about that. I had my camera off because I wasn't expecting it to happen. <laughs> okay. Time to address the um, other absurd telephone man here. No! Every spite you kill, every spite we kill, guys, Henry does a little As speech. If one wasn't enough. Your own family died just to get away from you. You were an orphan. Yes. But that includes your own siblings too. You meant more to the world as a phone-headed boss at a fast food restaurant than you did to your family when you were alive. Well, there you go. Peter! Dear God. Don't retreat, that's what he wants. Our anger just pushes us harder. The boy's attack has been increased. Okay, attack, spite B. Dave, attack, spite B. D, heal everybody just in case. Actually, we don't need to. Attack, spite B. Doggo, attack, spite B. Come on, boys. 61. 72. Good, that's fine. Hundreds. 200! What's the point then? God damn it! Okay, I accidentally attacked Henry. Attack B. Attack B. Heal. Attack B. Come on, guys! Need more damage! It's not gonna happen! If he keeps getting 200 attack health back, it's not gonna do anything! Oh my god! Yes! Get in! Yes! Okay. One more left, guys. Well, time to address the sock puppet. Oh, no! No, I need healing! You couldn't save a single one of those children. And you sure as hell can't escape me. That's not good, guys. You couldn't that day at the diner. And you certainly can't now. No! Oh, God! We're gonna freaking flay your life, Henry! I'd like to see you try. This is not good, guys, because I've, I've got no healer now. I've got no healer, boys. I'm gonna have to rely on that. What? Call, call of the Void hits an enemy with pure darkness. I'm gonna use that, guys. On both? It's gonna do it. Don't care. No, come on, doggo. No, I didn't want it to do it on that. I wanted to do it on the spite. Oh, oh I'm going to... Boys, it's over. I'm going to die at this point. This has done me like 20 minutes. Henry, please. I'm Dave. Sorry. Yes. Dave. I love you. I'm weary of you. Uh-oh. You sat by and watched your old vessel commit atrocity after atrocity. Dead children. All the lies you wove. And you held me here, refusing to kill me while you had the chance. Allowing my evil to leak into the world again. All of this is your fault. You think you're wise, but you're just like Fred Bear. 
a goddamn coward. Great. Holy fuck. How evil are you? You helped me, didn't you? You've always helped me. You poisoned my brain. You broke me. You ruined my life. You had no life. You were always broken. I merely played with you. Toyed with your affections. That's not true. You've killed just as many children as I have, William. The same hell that I was spared awaits you soon. Oh no! No! Now, to finish this. Jack. You are a cancer. You have no soul inside you. No life inside you. No right to exist. I know I don't. But neither do you. Say whatever you want. You've taken everything from me already. You can never undo what I've done to her. You know. Maybe not. But we can make sure that it never happens again. Yes! Doko Squad won! Yeah! Struggling Dave! Yes! I... I don't. I don't understand. I'm... I'm the protagonist. How can this... He's done for! We've won! One. One. Let me tell you. I have been sealed here for an epoch. And yet, my influence. The culmination of my being. I leaked into your world. Go ahead. Let me die. I'll be back. I always... Shut up and die, you pink fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Yay! Uh, uh, so is... Uh, is that it? Have we... Uh, One? It's... It's over! We can leave! Uh, uh, we showed that pink hacker who was boss, didn't we? Henry has been vanquished! Truly, this is a joyous day! So, does that mean it's time for us to go? Our happiest day! Of course it does, Dave! But first, I think we all have someone to thank! Oh! Okay, me first! Look, employ- Jack! I never really knew you that well! I guess I've never really known anyone all that well! Here I am, working as a dead-end pizza job. My head is a phone. Next thing I know, you show up, and it all comes crashing down. My wife was a lie, my life was a lie. My kids were probably robots or whatever. But, that's the thing about you, Jack. You fix things. Even though you couldn't fix yourself, you fixed me. I hope you'll somehow be able to join us. Goodbye, Steven. You deserve some rest. Thank you, Jack. And I'm sorry for everything. Oh my god. Boys, don't cry. Alright, time for the second headed phone guy in your life to do this. Look, bro. You know I've never been any good at goodbyes. Wasn't any good the first time. Or the second time. This is no exception, but if there's one thing I can say about you, is that you don't give up. You come back to people, 
Even when they don't necessarily deserve it. You always do. You vowed to find her and you did. None of this would have been possible if it weren't for you. I'm glad you saved me. But frankly, I would have given up my salvation in exchange for hers. And yet, we both get to go together. This is the first time we've really been together in this era. The first time since mom and dad died. And it's all because of you. Peter. I'm sorry I left you two alone. And I'm so sorry for blaming you for what happened. Thanks for never giving up on her. On me. Goodbye, bro. I hope I can join you both soon. See ya, Jack. Damn, this is getting deep. This is getting deep. Okay, my turn. Bro, you're a good guy. You've made your fair share of mistakes, but I've never met anyone willing to go as far as you have just to right their own wrongs. And often, other people's wrongs. You fought against the universe and won. You saved my soul, Jack. All of our souls. Sis. I'm so glad that you found me. I am too, D. I'll join you all soon. I just know it. Bitter lie. Goodbye, Jack. And thank you for everything. Damn. Dive! So, just me and you now. A. Hey, sportsy. Yeah. And that purple moth. <laughs> Look, I. Dave. I lied to the others. I couldn't bear to tell them. I'm not going to be able to join you guys. You mean. I'm soulless, Dave. I'm a meat sack. There's no part of me that can follow you. You're going to have to leave me behind. Jack, I don't know what to say. I'm going to miss you, Sportsy. I... I won't go. I can't go. I can't lose both you and Henry. You're the tangerine to my ambition. <laughs> the Clementine to my own marriage line. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to go alone. Not again. Put something into Dave's hands. Swordsy, what? What did you just give me? Oh. I call out of Blackjack. Oh, because that's me. That's my soul, right? What? This is your soul. Take him with you. He won't leave you. That's kind of his thing. You two can leave together. You two have each other now. Oh, sport. I. I don't know what to say. I. So, this is a Ben. Yeah, Dave, it's been a bloody ride, hasn't it? Two years, three years together. This is our final goodbye. We've had some fun in Vegas with the strippers. We killed some kids in the past. But we both know now that that was the wrong thing to do. And things can always be fixed. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye, Dave. Dave. You are a complete and utter weirdo. <laughs> it shouldn't be at all hard to say goodbye to you. And yet, it is. Sportsy, I. Goodbye, William. I hope you can find peace with what you've done. Goodbye. Ah, oh. It's Dave and the Doggo! Goodbye, old sport. Goodbye, Dave. I love you so, so much. Thanks for putting me back together. It's all right, man. That's what best friends are for. Goodbye, Dave. 
Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That was pretty deep. This is a fire. This is a fire. Hey, it's Fredbear. Or the spirit of Fredbear. Ah, uh, not. Like, we've done good. We did it. Add a nod back to show, like, this is the end. It's over now. Oh, all the animatronics in the back. And now he's at peace. Damn. And there you go. There you go, boys. Freddy goes out with a burn. Hello, I am Alan Johnson with the Los Angeles News Network. Hello. This just in, a local restaurant by the name of Bear. Seriously, who the heck writes this stuff? <laughs> reportedly burned down in the early hours of this morning. Yeah. The restaurant was known for its large bust of a fox head above the door of the restaurant. <laughs> well, it used to be Fred Bear, but we changed it. The was a local hit in the last official franchise Freddy Fazbender Pizza location. No human casualties were recorded. With the exception of the restaurant's owner, Mr. Jack Kennedy. Ah. Kennedy's charred remains were retrieved from the wreckage by the Los Angeles Fire Department. Oh. On his body, wrapped in fireproof laminate, was a last will and testament. Oh, here we go. A last will. The will contained a request to the city council to convert his land into a graveyard post mortem. Dedicated oh. to the numerous children who had lost their lives in various Freddy Fazbender locations. Oh, damn! The final line of the will reads, My final wish is for five gravestones to be built on site, for five souls who desperately deserve a proper burial, and ultimately to be remembered for who they really were. Oh! As always, I'm Alan Johnson with the Los Angeles News Network, and I'd like to thank you for joining me on this wild ride to the end. Damn! Alan Johnson signing off so we've got our own little gravestones now right oh my god Stephen Peter D Jack and William of course I'm side by side with William that has to that has to be how it is boys right next to William my best friend till the end my sister, Stephen, and my brother, Peter. Damn! <clears throat> my voice is dead. This was a very long recording, boys. Jesus. But I promised I wanted to keep it all, um... To keep it all, um... As one video. But damn. That was really good. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Scott, for FNAF. Hey, me! It's me! Ah, <laughs> oh. awesome! That was a cool ending. Then I guess that's it. Then that was the last day shift at Freddy's. We killed William, and everybody's at peace now. So yeah, it was a wild ride, boys. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching the series as well. I really do appreciate it. Stephen Hillenberg and Stephen Carl. Awesome. Rick Astley. <laughs> Fred Bear. <laughs> oh, damn. Personal thank you. Thank you, Doggo. For the awesome franchise of Day Shift at Freddy's. It's been awesome, man. Been awesome. And a real pleasure to record as well. It's been awesome to record this series specifically. Um... It's nice to know something to record. Hey, there's Doggo! King Doggo! There's me and William. Oh, Farfall, Cool Cat, the baby, the 
The Scuttlers, Phone Guys, Matt. Oh my god, a lot of the family there. Bread Bear, Fred Bear. Oh my god. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Dork Man. He actually says my name. No problem. That's awesome. That's awesome how you said Dork Man at the end. Okay, that's it guys for the good ending. I don't know if I'm gonna do um, another episode. We'll have to wait and see uh, But if it is the last episode, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support The series has been a joy to record really really awesome. I love you all so much. So so much Thank you lots of love. Thanks for watching. That was the good ending. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time